While the title may sound like I'm clickbaiting or I'm exaggerating, I am honestly worried about the future of Generation Zero, because I have seen this before with other games. A while back a paid DLC was added to Generation Zero, the Eastern European Weapon Pack, which by the way, please do not buy. Weapon packs themselves can be somewhat harmless, especially when the weapons in question are basically reskins of other existing weapons, when they don't do mechanically anything different, so it's basically just a bunch of skins, which is nice, I see nothing wrong with paying for cosmetics. There are also other weapon packs which do add different kinds of weapons, which do work differently from anything else in the game, like the turrets that you can put around the place. There is an argument to be made that such gameplay additions should be in the core game, but overall this is not all that much of a problem. It can be if it goes too far, like in the case of Destiny 2, where for a good while you basically needed to buy a whole lot of DLC to actually enjoy the game. But regardless, that's not really the case with Generation Zero. What is, however, a problem is when such a weapon pack, such as the most recent one, adds weapons that are simply better than everything available in the game. That is a problem, and that is to an extent the case here. The pack includes a pistol, a submachine gun, a machine gun, and a sniper. The pistol is fine, although it's not that great, so that's not much of a problem. And the sniper is a bit of an odd one, because while it is the best in its category, bolt action snipers are not all that good in Generation Zero, so overall it's not a huge problem. But the machine gun and the SMG are not only the best in their category, but to an extent they are the best weapons out there at the moment. They can't quite replace all of the use cases of the PVG or the GRG M49, but in terms of just fighting machines, they are the cream de la cream. That is basically what killed Payday 2. DLC after DLC after DLC, with increasingly less content added to the game, but with better and better weapons, so a lot of people had an incentive to go buy them, which made the developers lazy because why put in the effort when people buy the DLC just for the better weapons? The answer for why you shouldn't do that is because, in time, you lose your player base. If there's only so much to do in the game, old players will leave because they don't have anything left to do. And when all you're adding is marginally better guns, not all that many players are gonna start playing. There's no hype around that. And if the weapons get too powerful, the game is no longer really gonna be all that enjoyable, because it breaks the balance. And I'm not saying that it's a problem only because it's paid DLC. It is even more of a problem because of that, but power creep, which is basically always adding new better weapons, is a problem even if the content is free, like in Warframe. Power creep has plagued Warframe for years now. They tried to fix it a bit now and then, but it's very much still a problem. With this very last update, they added a new batch of weapons, most of which are, surprise surprise, basically the new meta. It's hard to say if they are all that better than the old meta, but they are still in the top 1% of the weapons in the game. And when you keep adding new better guns all the time, and new harder content that requires the better gun, the old guns, by contrast, get worse and worse, so you kill all build diversity. You don't even get to choose your guns based on what you enjoy, because you feel like if you're not using the top strongest guns, you're missing out. And sometimes the guns you do like are almost unusable. So sure, you can just use the guns you like, even if they're not the best. Except that you're gonna fail the mission and lose all progress. But whoever cares about that in a looter shooter, right? Yeah. Now, I hope that Generation Zero manages to survive and even strive, but if they end up going the way of the power creep, they might just also go down the way of the dodo. Which I really hope doesn't happen because I quite enjoy the game, and I hope nothing like that happens. So if you take one thing away from this video, please do not buy the Eastern European pack. You do not need it, the other guns are strong enough, it encourages bad practices from the developers, and you're not really gonna get anything all that fun out of it either. The weapons are mostly just reskins with better stats. I do hope I'm wrong and that nothing like this will ever happen, but only time will tell.